Okay, hey everybody, I'm John Lincoln with Ignite Visibility, and today I want to talk about four things, right? I want to talk about hummingbird, panda, penguin, and pigeon, and the difference between them. And if you don't know what these are, these are Google al algorithm updates that really kind of rock the industry and completely uh, were game changers. So in this video, I just want to spend a couple minutes, not go too in-depth on each one, but just kind of review it for the people who maybe are trying to think of, you know, what is really the difference between each of these, okay? So first thing I'm going to do is jump into Hummingbird. So really what that was, was that was an attempt by Google to provide better responses to voice queries, right? So when you're talking into your phone or even your computer, a lot of people have that functionality now. So really what we want to see on web pages now in regards to Hummingbird is answers to questions, facts, statistics, dense articles. That type of information started getting surfaced a lot more. These, these really thorough, in-depth pieces with, with great information um, started coming up quite a bit more um, after the Hummingbird update. Okay? Now the Panda update was a little bit different. Really, Panda is more about on-site issues or actually things that are actually on your website. And two of the main things that the Google Panda update looks at are duplicate content, so um, multiple URLs with the same content on them are bad. It's always been bad, but it's a lot worse with Panda, especially on really big sites with thousands, hundreds of thousands, even millions of pages, okay? But um, also, it looked at things like um, thin content. So if you have a URL, right, and you've only got like 100 words of content on it, then when Panda hit um, those types of websites, all of those uh, uh, URLs got kicked out of the index, right? And we saw that with a lot of news sites that had very short posts and, and blogs that had been ranking. Um, you know, Demand Media was, you know, uh, uh, a business in particular that got hit really hard um, by that across the board on a lot of their different properties, okay? Um, and then the other thing that Panda looked at was things like click-through rate and bounce back. So if you have a SERP listing, right, and then somebody clicked on it, and then they, they came back out, and they said they hit the back button, I don't really like that, and then they clicked on the next one, um, these usability type of things were really tied into the Panda update. So you got to have good usability um, metrics, you have to have good content um, as far as Panda and really Hummingbird is concerned, and you can't have a lot of duplicate content or thin content. And one other thing I'll say real quick on this was, a lot of people, what they were doing was like spinning content and creating thousands and thousands of URLs that really had no information on them, but had some relevant keywords that they wanted to rank for. And so really this was a, a web spam update by Google to try to get that stuff out of there. Okay, so Penguin update. So really what, what this was about mostly for Penguin was external linking. So if you had a bad link profile and you had you know, links from really cruddy domains and stuff like that, um, stuff that didn't match up with the theme of your website, you could have gotten in trouble there. Um, but one of the main things was anchor text, right? So if you, uh, if your website was, um, say you were selling moto, uh, motorcycle boots and you had a ton of people linking to you with the term motorcycle boots, um, you could have gotten kicked out of the index for that query. So there's a lot of different philosophies out there, but basically if your entire link profile has a certain percentage of anchor text that's too high, Penguin will see that and boom, you're out of the index for that query. So kind of interesting, right? Now the other thing that Penguin did too is it looked at keyword stuffing, right? So if you on the bottom of your web page had just jammed a bunch of keywords in there trying to get Google to rank you, uh, Panda, or excuse me, Penguin also looked at that and would have kicked that URL out of the index, all right? Also cloaking was part of that too, but we won't get too much into that today. All right, and then the last one that I have for you is Pigeon. So Pigeon was more about local search, okay? So, um, you know, San Diego restaurants and stuff like that. Anything that's got a local element in it. And for those of you who don't know, there, there's a quite a few different things that happen in local search. You have the um, what they call the seven pack or, or the, the Google listings that show up there for your places or, or Google Plus pages. And then you have the regular HTML URLs, right? So what Pigeon did is reduce the amount of URLs, um, excuse me, Google Plus and Google Places pages that show up in, in that, that pack. And then it also made it so that Yelp ranked a little bit higher. Um, but it also started looking at a couple different pieces of content that are associated with these local listings, okay? 
And one of the main things was, do they mention surrounding areas and neighborhoods? So not just San Diego, but La Mesa, um, El Cajon, stuff like that, that, that kind of um, further enforces that location. But um, in addition, there was another thing that happened where basically Pigeon made it so that the local listings get ranked very similar now to um, how the rest of the search results get ranked. So it's more like a regular SEO than it was before, where there, uh, it was more dependent on a lot of local directories and reviews and stuff like that. That shifted just a little bit, okay? So these are four of the biggest updates that happened in Google in 2014, and they'll be rolling out more and more in 2015 uh, throughout this year. And I hope this answers some of your questions. Have a great day.